Senator John Brasso joining us now as we look at markets down 1,700 points. The Dow halting trading just a few moments ago. A 15-minute break due to a circuit breaker triggered because of a more than 7% sell-off in the S&P 500, all due to coronavirus fears. Senator John Barrasso is the chairman of the Senate Republican Conference. He's also a medical doctor. He joins us now. You're a very important voice to enter into the picture this morning as we have growing uncertainty over what happens next with this virus, and you're certainly seeing those fears and uncertainty play out in the U.S. stock market this morning, Senator. What can you tell us? Well, what we've done in terms of the Senate and the, and the House and signed by the president last week, I think, is very important because until we get the medical side of this under control, the concerns on the market side will continue. So we have now passed legislation. The experts say they have the money, the resources that they need to develop vaccines, to work on treatments, to do available and more testing. All of that is important because until the American public and the world believes that the disease itself is behind us, we're going to continue to have the concerns that you're seeing reflected in the market today. Senator Brasso, we are getting word that some of your colleagues are deciding to shut down their offices due to this uh, growing fears over the spread of this virus. Uh, Mitt Romney, Tom Cotton and others, uh, Tom Cotton just putting out an announcement just a short time ago. Do you expect that operations on Capitol Hill will come to an end? Uh, no, some people will certainly be working from home, but my concern are the people all across the country who find themselves in the exact same situation. We do now have a case, a positive case, in one of the Senate offices, so we've been discussing that at a briefing this morning. It's what one would expect, given the number of, of visitors and tourists that come to Washington to see our nation's capital. We all need to take the precautions, whether it's in the workplace on Capitol Hill or the workplaces around America, to prevent the spread by covering when you cough, by washing your hands thoroughly. And if you're sick, stay home. And of course, you're talking about the staff member and Senator Maria Cantwell's Washington, D.C. office. Uh, Senator, this sell-off that you're looking at on your screen began mm -hmm. last night. Uh, we've had a, several wild days for the stock market. Um, but specifically, this started as the president was delivering that speech, uh, trying to calm fears over the coronavirus. What did you take away from his speech? And was it effective? Well, I thought the president was reassuring and realistic about the fact that we need to prevent the virus, additional people from coming to the United States, but also what we need to do at home to prevent the spread at home and to work on treatment and vaccine and early identification. The testing is so much a part of that to know how many people truly are affected and infected. That is a key part of this. I think the president set the right tone in terms of what government can do now to help people. I think we need to do more to help people with paid sick leave to make sure that those people who are sick will stay home or if they have to stay home for quarantine purposes, stay home to take care of someone who is out of school, out of work as a result of this virus. We need to do that to help those folks immediately. Additionally, what the president has talked about with small business loans, that will be effective as well as what we can do by pushing back the date of the IRS and the April 15th deadline for paying taxes. Senator Brasso, you, were, you just came out of that Senate briefing on the coronavirus mm -hmm. this morning. You come at this from an incredibly unique perspective that you are a medical doctor as well as a member of Congress. Do you believe that we are having the right discussion and tackling this problem the best way that we can? We're absolutely having the right discussion. I would have liked to have seen more tests out there sooner during our briefing this morning. Lots of pointed questions at the head of the Center for Disease Control as to why there has been a delay in testing. We have to take it from where we are today to make sure we have the tests available so people that have the symptoms of the shortness of breath, of the coughing, of the fever, can get tested and can get the results back in a timely manner so they know if they have tested positive or negative. Were you satisfied with the answers that you got from the CDC based on the, the, the lack of testing available? They're not yet at the point where I believe that we should be and the American people would expect from the Center for Disease Control, an organization with a tremendous reputation for the years. They're not quite there yet.
That's that's a lot to say, considering we were told by the administration, uh, the vice president and others, that if you want to be tested, you can get tested, Senator. So, I, I, and I want to point to the screen here. We're looking at uh, um, trading has resumed on Wall Street with now more than an 1,800 point sell off on the Dow on the first 20 minutes of trading after that 15 minute halt, uh, Senator. So, could you? Tell us what you see next happening next with all of this. You know, there's parents waking up this morning and they're debating in their minds whether to drop their kids off at school. I mean, many schools in this country have closed. Many others have not. For many Americans and most Americans, the risk of this virus affecting them in terms of their health is very low. In terms of impact, affecting people all across the country in terms of the economy, it is affecting everyone. We need to act from a congressional standpoint on doing the things that will have an immediate impact on those families who find themselves in that situation. But the best thing that we can do is through proper precautions, proper precautions and preventing additional spread of the disease, that's how we get this behind us and the economic recovery can begin. Senator John Barrasso, we really appreciate you coming on with us this morning. Appreciate Thank your you. Time. Thanks for having me. Thank you.